So when we talk about amoxicillin, the first thing you should be thinking is about that suffix cillin. So as you hear that cillin suffix, you're thinking penicillin type medication, okay? So generic name is amoxicillin, trade name is moxitag. This medication can be used often for skin infections and respiratory infections. So a lot of times in the hospital, you you will see it for respiratory infection. And then more in like the primary care world, you'll see it given for skin infections and things like that. It can also be used for sinusitis and for endocarditis prophylaxis. So if you have a patient who is at risk for endocarditis, you would give amoxicillin. It can help to prevent the development of endocarditis. It can also be given for Lyme disease. Okay, so that's really our indication for amoxicillin. What I've seen it given most for within the hospital is for uh, these respiratory infections. And then a lot of times you'll see it out in the, in, the, in the regular world for skin infections and things like that. The way that it works is it inhibits synthesis of the bacterial cell wall and that leads to cell death. So as this bacterial cell wall is not able to synthesize and become created, that you know makes it harder for this this uh, bacteria to grow and to and to and to, to infect the body. And so the cell actually the bacteria starts to die off. So its therapeutic class is anti-infective and anti-ulcer agent. Its pharmacologic cla- pharmacologic class is amino penicillin. So again. One of the biggest things you really need to do with this medication is with that with any of these cillin endings, you really need to monitor your patients very closely for penicillin allergy. You need to assess them, ask them, question them if they've ever had any sort of reaction to penicillins. And if they have, this isn't going to be the best choice for them, okay? So you know that just by the the, the fact that it's named amoxicillin. And you should really just make sure, go on the patient's MAR and assess if they've ever had a penicillin allergy or if the patient is coherent or there's family around. You should really ask, have the, has the patient ever had a reaction to a penicillin before? Okay, so that's the biggest thing you want to keep in mind. So it, there is a slight risk that this can cause seizures. So you're going to want to, uh, you know, watch your patient. You don't necessarily need to put them on seizure precautions, but you need to watch them and understand that this can lead to seizures. A big thing you need to watch out for also is assess for skin rashes and anaphylaxis because this patients, like we said, they can have this anaphylactic reaction to this uh, penicillin, so you're going to want to assess their skin for any sort of rash. The medication is excreted by the kidney, so you're going to want to monitor your renal labs, your BUN, creatinine, creat clearance, all those labs, and make sure your kidneys are functioning as they should, okay? So that's a big thing to monitor, and that's true with a lot of medications that are excreted by kidneys. Patients can also experience diarrhea. This can happen with a lot of these types of medications, these anti-infectives, is that the patient can develop diarrhea from them. So you'll want to monitor for that. And then it can cause bloody stool, and the patient should report any bloody stool to their uh, physician or to their nurse immediately, okay? So this is amoxicillin, trade name moxitag. Big things to keep in mind, respiratory infections, skin infections, and uh endocarditis prophylaxis as well as Lyme disease Uh, and the big thing is you know psyllin psyllin suffix you really need to keep that in mind and watch out for that this has been another episode of the med master podcast brought to you by medmastercourse.com and nrsng.com my name is john haas rn ccrn student nurse mentor and your biggest fan if you're ready to demolish nursing pharmacology once and for all Head over to medmastercourse.com and use the coupon code PODCAST to save 15% on lifetime membership to MedMaster Course. MedMaster Course is packed full of 30 plus hours of HD video and audio content with tons and tons of free cheat sheets and downloads. Demolish nursing pharmacology, never guess a med again. Go to medmastercourse.com, coupon code PODCAST. You guys know what time it is now. Go out and do something great. Happy nursing.